we're into October. We're into uh, the flu season. Cold. Kids are back at school. They're around everybody. It's it's a topic for you that uh, we start talking about it and like you're you're glowing because <laughs> you're looking at a wall. You're looking at ways people can help boost their immune system, uh, and there are ways to be able to feel good and maintain it throughout the course of the year. For sure, there's mm -hmm. so much you can do through nutrition, through herbs, through supplements. Let's start with nutrition. So just ensuring that you're getting enough uh, leafy green veggies, and uh, again, the colorful foods come up, right? Because the deeply colored reds and greens and orange foods have phytonutrients and antioxidants that really boost your immune system. Your immune system is comprised of, you know, white blood cells, the lymphatic system. There's so much to it. Organs. Your skin is part of your your, your immune system. It's such a complex system. So you really need nu good nutrition. To to strengthen it. Can we build, can we boost our immune system to be able to fight the common cold and, and to be able to fight feeling run down during certain months of the year? Well, yeah, no one's Iron Man, right. so you know, everybody gets <laughs> sick from time to time, but um, but yeah, absolutely, through nutrition, through lifestyle, getting an, ensuring you're getting enough sleep, exercise, fresh air is really important, reducing your stress levels, and then there's supplements that you can take on a regular basis to ensure that your immune system is up to par. So the greens comes up for me again. I know I've mentioned greens before because they're so Real. critical and a green supplement is like it's a whole food supplement so it has all the nutrients your body needs in food form and there's so many amazing flavors now these used to taste like grass but now there's the chocolate greens by Botanica that taste like chocolate milk my kids adore this and the and the uh, pina colada one oh they're yeah, awesome. For awesome. a while it was like flavor was, was tough, but yeah. it's nice to see that they are changing that up a little bit. Yeah, and then fish oil is really important for the immune system as well. Those omega-3 fatty acids, we don't get enough omega-3 through the diet unless you're eating a ton of flaxseed and cold water fish, which we're advised not to eat too much of because of the mercury levels, then you're just not getting enough. So a supplement is really important for immunity. Vitamin D, we don't get enough sunshine in the winter, especially here in Canada. Mm -hmm. So taking the vitamin D throughout the winter every day and good old vitamin C we all know how important that is for the immune system you can get it through citrus you know adding lemon to your water uh, supplementing though it doesn't hurt through the winter months that's for sure so you have the, the, the zest the citrus why are we looking at onions and garlics here uh, so that's moving on to um, home remedies so garlic, well garlic is really good for the immune system, for charging the immune system and also for fighting viruses. But there's so many home remedies that you can make that are really cool with food. Like onions for instance, you can make an onion pack for the chest. I do this for my kids when they have a cough. And you put it on, on, their, on their chest at night, it stops them from coughing. Like instantly, it's incredible. Onion, what do we do with the onion? Wrap it in a tea towel or a piece of flannel and place it on their chest, directly on their chest at night when they go to bed. Have a humidifier going in the room when oh they have God. a cough. See the it's, little things you learn. It's amazing. Yeah. And then garlic, you can make like a garlic ear oil. We sell it mm -hmm. um, on the shelf as well, but you can make your own with just olive oil or coconut oil and garlic. You simmer the garlic and you put a drop in, in your ear or on a cotton swab when you have an ear infection. Really good for fighting ear infections. I love that. Ginger, turmeric. Here we have turmeric and sea salt, a great gargle for sore throats. So adding both of those to a teaspoon of the, of the sea salt and a quarter teaspoon of turmeric to some warm water and gargling with that when you have an inflamed throat. Amazing again. Uh, and then there's the, the neti pod and the saline saline uh, sprays for nasal congestion. Aromatherapy, it really, really, it yeah, helps. really good. You can make a steam inhalation too. You just put some essential oils in a bowl of hot water, towel over your head, lean over, inhale the oils. Eucalyptus, for instance. I was gonna say, what oils would you recommend then? Eucalyptus, peppermint, rosemary, tea tree oil. Those would be great for congestion and sinus infections. Wow. And then there's some amazing remedies. There's a whole wall full yeah, of remedies you, you, here. You, you, but... <laughs> there's this, and then there's this, yeah. and then there's this. There's so much to choose from, but you picked a couple of favorites. My favorite, this is something that we always have in our home, uh, the antiviral by Natural Factors. It's a great herbal combination that helps to fight not only viruses, but I find bacterial infections as well. So anytime anybody in the house is coming down with any symptom of cold, flu, um, we, we pop right on that and it's really good. If you take it right at the onset, it really helps to... For a while too, we went through that echinacea, right? If you just had a lot of, like, take the echinacea, is that so still, echinacea. are we still talking that about? Yeah, yeah echinacea is in this formula, mm -hmm. but it has 
five other herbs in it as well that help to boost the immune system <laughs> and fight viruses. And then there's the, the Respiractin, which is really good for, again, coughs, colds. There's cough syrups as well, homeopathic ones that are safe for children and pregnant women and all, all kinds of remedies. They, you know, people can come into the store and talk to the nutritionist on staff and they'll help direct them to the right remedy. Because right. there's always something, but the best thing to do is ask the questions. Ask uh, the and questions, that's, that's the best yeah. thing is that there is someone full-time, a holistic nutritionist on hand to be able to help answer those questions so that you're not overwhelmed because even you yeah. get overwhelmed by the risk of my that's available to break it down for you and of course for more information you can always head to naturalfoodpantry.ca